reported today in The Verge. The artist putting tiny Kirby, Waffles, and SpongeBob on your mechanical keyboard. Every week, The Verge's designers, photographers, and illustrators gather to share the work of artists who inspire us. Now we're turning our art club into an interview series in which we catch up with the artists and designers we admire and find out what drives them. One of the most appealing benefits of mechanical keyboards is their customizability, and artisan keycap maker Tiny is on a mission to bring some joy to the keyboard. Her custom keycaps, made from polymer clay and resin, range from designs like waffles drenched in syrup, baby Yoda, and Kirby, mid inhale. Whether it's a lone burger shaped keycap in place of the escape key or cute characters lining the row of F keys, her keycaps exude charm and personality. She's even made one featuring the titular goose from Untitled Goose Game, which works perfectly as a honk button. Based in San Jose, Tiny first got into mechanical keyboards as a hobby, as she collected keycaps from other artists online. It's a very male dominated hobby, and a lot of the designs that people were making were guyish designs, like robots, skulls, and zombies, she says. I like cute stuff, so I just wanted to make my own. She began practicing clay sculpting and streaming her process on Twitch as a way to stay consistent, and eventually started taking commissions. Wanting to turn making keycaps into a sustainable career, she began resin casting, which allows her to create and sell batches of keycaps at a time. It's now been two years since Tiny quit her job as a software engineer, and she's since become a Twitch partner as well as a rising star on TikTok. I caught up with Tiny to chat with her about the niche mechanical keyboard community, how keycap sales are like streetwear drops, and the business of being a creator. This interview has been edited and condensed for clarity. I couldn't resist making a keycap as annoying and obnoxious as the goose in the game. A post shared by Tiny, at Tiny Makes Things, on October 18, 2019 at 10.10am 10, 10 PDT. You have a huge following on TikTok and you've been pretty active with it. How do you think that's helped you with your business? TikTok is this new frontier that a lot of people, maybe the older generation of people, don't really know about yet. The audience there, a lot of them are teenagers who don't have money to buy keyboards, let alone a keycap for that. I'm not trying to sell my products on there, I think Instagram is more geared toward that. TikTok, I just have fun with it and I think it gets my name out there. I think I've gotten a lot of media attention from TikTok because people have been reposting my videos, with or without my consent, on art channels on Instagram and on YouTube. And then I'll get a bunch of followers on Instagram because of that. I think it's G for more on this story, visit the news article link.